Dr. Evangelos Michalakis. He is uh, one of the leading researchers working on DCA out of the University of Alberta. Doctor, am I overstating this? Do you believe this is a cure for many cancers? Um, uh, I, I'm not sure I would uh, call it a miracle, Glenn. Um, it's a very promising um, advance, but there have been a lot of miracles in medicine, in uh, lab animals, and in test tubes that never translate into miracles in actual human beings. Okay, now you, so can, there are a lot of reasons can yeah, you, to, be, can to you, be optimistic about it. Can you do these uh, studies, and how long will it take? Uh, we are about to start these clinical trials in the human beings here at the University of Alberta and we think we'll be starting uh, somewhere in the next uh, couple of months. It will take several months to complete the first stage of these trials to know at least that this drug is effective in human beings as it was in human cells out of the body. Was this drug used for anything else? Is this drug yeah. on the market for anything else right now? It's not in the market and it cannot, you cannot find it in pharmacists. You can buy it in bulk from chemical companies, uh, cell chemicals. Uh, however, it has been used for over 30 years to treat uh, very rare conditions uh, of metabolism, usually in children. Um, universities usually buy the drug in bulk, they process it, and then they treat these very, very rare conditions. We know that it's uh, relatively well tolerated. There are some, some mild toxicities in, in these patients. But, of course, we don't know how patients with cancer will react okay. to that. So th this is something you can buy at a chemical company. There are going to be people who read about this, like I did today. If I had cancer, i, I got to tell you, I'm not waiting the two years for the human trial. I, I, if, if this has killed these things, lung and breast and, and what was the other, brain cancer, if it's killed these things in test tubes and in, in lab rats, what's going to stop somebody who has nothing left to lose from going and finding some of this stuff and taking it? That's a very important question, and in fact, we've been bombarded with this question. But you've got to keep in mind that it is possible it might hurt someone. For example, a lot of these patients are already taking cancer medications, and the interactions of this drug and any drug with the existing drugs is unpredictable. You, it could result in worsening than uh, improvement. So these clinical trials are really important to be performed appropriately and under the regulation of authorities like uh, FDA or Health Canada. I, I, I have to tell you, I, uh, while I see your point, I got uh, you know, if I'm dying of cancer, and I know I'm going to die anyway, what, I mean, how am I going to get worse than death? You had a hard time getting anybody to pay attention to this because there's no money to be made in this. Why don't the insurance companies get involved and pour money into this? There's a ton of money to be saved by insurance companies. Why isn't the capitalist system working on that front? That's a very interesting uh, question, and you're right, you would expect. I, I think there are some laws preventing the insurance company in investing in research, but I, I'm not a, a lawyer to tell you that. I think there is some regulations. It's not that easy to do that. However, the, the, the authorities like the University of Alberta and the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry have already uh, committing and they're helping us uh, along with the people of Alberta that already started donating uh, money to, um, to at least make uh, the first step. All right. Doctor, thank you very much.